Iraq's recent introduction of new cash deposit centers marks a critical development in the country's ongoing monetary reform. These centers play a pivotal role in managing the transition from the current high-denomination 3-0 notes to newly introduced lower-denomination currency. This is a significant step in Iraq's plan to strengthen its economy and stabilize its currency. But how exactly do these new cash deposit centers function, and what does this mean for Iraqi citizens and their money? The primary function of these new cash deposit centers is to handle the exchange of the old high-denomination currency, known as the 3-0 notes, for the new lower-denomination notes. For context, Iraq has been using high-value notes such as 25,000 and 10,000 dinars due to inflation and economic instability, but the country is now working toward economic reform to reduce dependence on these large denominations. By introducing new, lower-denomination notes, the Central Bank of Iraq aims to help control inflation and bring more stability to the economy. At these new cash deposit centers, Iraqi citizens are required to deposit their 3-0 notes. These notes will be collected and sorted at the centers where the old currency is separated from the new lower denominations. This process is key to the country's plan to delete the zeros from its currency system, a long-discussed initiative designed to revalue the Iraqi dinar and make transactions more manageable. Once the three zero notes are deposited, citizens will receive the lower denomination notes either physically or electronically, depending on their preference. For citizens, this is a major shift in how they will interact with money. Historically, large denomination notes have been inconvenient for everyday transactions. Carrying around high-value notes can be cumbersome, and making change for smaller purchases is often challenging. The introduction of lower denomination currency will make everyday transactions more practical, easing the burden on both businesses and consumers. Citizens can now expect to withdraw these smaller notes from ATMs or receive them electronically through bank transfers. This transition is not just a logistical change. It also represents a step toward Iraq's broader economic reform. By introducing lower denomination notes, the country is signaling its intent to stabilize the dinar and bring its economy in line with international standards. These reforms could also pave the way for Iraq to re-enter the global financial system more fully, as the value of the Iraqi dinar could eventually rise in response to the deletion of zeros and the introduction of these lower denominations. However, the success of this initiative depends heavily on how well it is implemented. There is concern about whether the banking infrastructure in Iraq is prepared to handle this large-scale transition. The introduction of these new cash deposit centers is designed to streamline the process, but it will take time for people to adjust to the new system. Education and communication from the government and banking institutions will be essential to ensure that citizens understand the process and feel comfortable exchanging their old currency. In conclusion, the establishment of cash deposit centers and the transition to lower denomination notes are crucial components of Iraq's monetary reform. For Iraqi citizens, it means the eventual phasing out of the cumbersome three zero notes and the arrival of more practical, smaller denominations that are better suited for everyday use. While the road ahead may present challenges, this step forward could mark a turning point in Iraq's economic future potentially increasing the value of the dinar and helping to stabilize the economy for the long term.